think we're all pretty big fans of Crow Team over here. Mm -hmm. And I find oh, it yeah. kind of weird that this is actually the first serious Sam game we're throwing chairs at. Um, it's not the first Crow Team game, though. That would be uh, Talos Principle. But anyways, mm -hmm. uh, this is we're throwing some chairs at. Bog serious Sam's Bogus Detour. It's developed by Crackshell, published by Crow Team. It's on a custom C++ angel, angel script engine. And it's about 10 to $15 of your local particular currency. What is it? Battle through beautiful Mediterranean locales, dangerous biological weapons labs, and even high-tech moon bases. With no Nazis, by the way. As a one-man wrecking crew or in four-player online cooperative mode for maximum chaos, dominate the survival in versus modes or make your own mods, modes, and even total conversions with the game editor. Serious Sam's Bogus Detour is the biggest little Serious Sam game ever made. This was on sale for dirt cheap, so we all picked up a copy. Uh, you guys don't know what the chair acquisition is we give this we give games a bit of a review we do a bit of qa on them that maybe their developers didn't uh, think about doing and we give you the full picture from the top down so one chair means that it's crap two chairs means math three chairs means that it's pretty good four chairs means it's maze balls and we apply those to our categories oh doom makes it working shiny sounds controls and fun so then mm -hmm. did it make it with working Hey, man, uh, this is the fun part. This is the big part of the QA, because we're going to be testing this on Kumbuntu, Kumbuntu, and Fedora, which is always yeah. fun and exciting. <laughs> I will be using Solus at some point. Not yet. Oh, okay. You just got to wait for the check to clear. Got it. Um, <laughs> over here on 1704, running kernel 413. Uh, basically, man, every, everything kind of ran out of the box. I didn't have any issues like you had, Jordan. Um yeah. You know, really, the two th no Vulcan render. Jeez, I could <laughs> barely run it. That was a bit disappointing. And uh, ye the one thing I learned is hi hitting uh, restart. And I, this is not a bug, but come on, fuck me, right? Uh, what wipes your damn save and starts you back at the beginning? Ooh, fun. Yeah, yeah it I, does I, the, I didn't uh, really have like too many issues with that with this game, other than the fact that it crashes on exit, and also it spawns a lot of pulse audio syncs. It's not the first game to do that. Uh, it's, I think it's still we've annoying. actually thrown chairs at one game specifically that did that, and it was really annoying. But ever since, well, ever since I moved to the UK, I don't have speakers plugged into this box, so I disabled the internal uh, sound device, and I only have the headset. I don't know, man. I, you see, I, I find that my life has gotten a lot simpler now that I don't look at Pavu control, because <laughs> you're like, what the holy hell, really? Uh, with a lot of games you know especially when they like spool up the entire 5.1 oh yeah mm, yeah you can control each individual driver if your uh sound system supports it you can control each individual one's volume it's like whoa yeah i i don't really have that advanced the sound system here i just got like the mixer some cheapo logitech speakers and that's it um, but I mean, yeah, every, everything works. I don't think this game like really would affect any of our systems. I mean, oh, I, no. the, I, I got the i7 with i6 700K with the 980. Then you got the 1700X Ryzen with the 980. Uh, regular 1800. Or 1700. I, well, it's it's overclocked yeah. to be equivalent to a 1700X. Uh, it, it beats a 1700X. Yeah. So the, <laughs> there you go. My point stands. Any, anywho, and Pedro, you got a 1080. So, I mean, yeah, like... This, 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 Even with no, the no, FX eighty three seventy E, it ran stupidly well. Oh yeah, four like, chairs across the board here. <laughs> pretty much, yeah, four chairs. So that that's four chairs for makes with the working. How about shiny and sounds? Moving the panel on. Um, did it make with the produce for you, P baby? Uh, yeah, it did. Um, uh, I don't like the hipster pixel bullshit. Mm -hmm. I I think I that, that shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone who has been watching. Uh, our um, cherry acquisition, as it's called. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it doesn't get four chairs for me specifically because of the bullshit hipster pixels. Uh, it hasn't gone back around for me yet. So the sounds, on the other hand, this sounds like a proper Siri Sam game. It's oh, they, uh, they nailed it. Point. They nailed it. With no, like, they did yeah. Both of you are yeah. high. Quit quit doing drugs, kids. Uh, yeah, crack, they say, did. Say no to crack. Um, no, no, no. And uh, honest, honestly, like, I would have honestly given this about two chairs, if not for the mellifluous voice of Mr. Sam Stone. I oh, heard that. Fuck and then off. that lizard part of my brain's like, okay, yeah, we, we can we can kind of get into this. All I, of uh, the sound uh, effects were the stupidly horrible on thing. point. Even, all right, all right, the background noise. I had to nope it. 
even worse yeah it sounds yeah they had serious sam voice samples in there and holy fuck did it sound like it was the original voice samples all scratchy and it didn't sound yeah, good man. i i think he definitely recorded that like over the phone i, I forget <laughs> i forget who actually voices uh sam we'll pull that up later um but i mean ever it looks like a top-down serious sam game you have all like the nars and the clears and the rocket launcher dudes like they all they all look like they would if they were 2d hipster pixel versions of their 3d counterparts i i can't really yeah. fault it for that I'm, I'm just gonna give it three chairs i think that's that's solid yeah i i give it three chairs it can't get the fourth because bullshit hipster pixel i am definitely gonna say i mean it looks the part but i can't tell whether or not i, I my, my brain's doing the translation when i'm seeing this i'm like oh that's supposed to be this oh this is supposed to be this some of it is a little bit lost um it looks all right. It's not lazily done at all. So yeah, I, I'm gonna give it two. It's got sounds in it that technically shows up on the screen. I'm not as impressed as you guys, man. Just like, like, like I said, this is a pure lizard brain reaction. But mm. yeah, two, that that would be about two chairs for the uh, shiny and the sounds. For controls, however, you'd think that like a game like this would play well with a controller, but you'd be wrong. The controller support is yeah, Ben. You you mentioned it, and it's pretty. You're spot on with your assessment that it's really tacked on. You got to use Waz for this. Oh man, um, I really do believe that somebody said shit. We we need to put uh, controller support in this, and it was an a afterthought. Like, uh, how long do I have to do it? Forty minutes, and um. Because I'm thinking, you're looking at this, because this is a twin stick game. You run around, you go pew, pew, pew. That, that's what you're doing. It's Serious Sam, top down, 2D. That's what this shit's made for. It's made to pull, sit back, relax, play in a goddamn couch, bitches. And um, it's complete rubbish with the excluding controller. Uh, it's no better with the DualShock. Either. Dude, uh, I finally, just today, it's like, well, fuck it. I'm going to try it with a keyboard and dribble. Holy fuck all did I feel like I was playing in cheat mode, man. I just like I had a game oh, shark plugged it's, in. It's not a day, especially when you get like surrounded. It's nice to just be able to like fire and swirl swirl your mouse around like a freaking idiot. Um yeah, no honestly, I think that's kind of to the detriment of this game. I, I would agree that this thing needs some decent controller support so that it could be fun really? on the couch. Yeah, really? Really? Yeah, really. Yeah, really. No, not really. This is a shooter with Sirius Sam as the protagonist. What the hell did you expect This to is a top-town twin-stick shmup. Is a yeah. shooter with Sirius Sam as the protagonist. You play I, with the I, I mean, I, I could, I could make mouse. a shooter with Pac-Man. Yes, yes, Pedro. Elvis didn't do no drugs. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. I only played this with the mouse and keyboard because, as my argument, it's a shooter with Sirius Sam as a protagonist. Guess what? I didn't have any issues. It's fine. Yes, I, don't, if, if, I honestly if you're, if you're, don't if you're get... using a keyboard and mouse. Yes, it's perfectly fine. If you don't want to use one, though, then it's shit. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. <laughs> then again, you shouldn't be playing games on your computer if you don't want to use a keyboard and mouse. Uh, you heard I'm, it here I'm, first, I'm sorry, ladies and I've, gentlemen. I've um, a Steam box to plug Pedro into my Pedro is solely like... responsible for killing Steam machines. <laughs> yeah, I, I, absolutely. It's 100% Pedro's fault. Blame him. Send your hate mail to Pedro. So listen, man, I'm definitely going to roll it back. I'm going to throw it too. Um, simply yeah, put, it because, you know, it technically it works. Uh, but this is something I personally want to play with the controller. And I think a lot of people might be thinking like me and be sorely disappointed. I, I mean, for the actual intent, for the properly designed control in the keyboard and mouse, yeah, it definitely gets three chairs. Uh, not enough to ding it to because ding it down to two because the game is technically playable with the uh, controller. It's just kind of bad. Anyways, let's yeah, let's yeah. Uh, let's move up. So that that brings it to three chairs for control. Let's let's uh, put a bow on it. Then, did you have fun playing the bogus encounter, bogus detour? Um, I, I know I'm alone here. So here we go. I really tried to give a damn about this man. Uh, I don't. I don't. I wanted to like it. Tried so hard. Tried so. Uh, tried so hard. Tried what so is it? Uh, nothing really <laughs> mattered or something. I don't know. DBZ anime music video from way back in the day. Um, MVs, man. It got the sand bits right, didn't it? Yeah. I, I, yeah. And that, 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 so here, for for me at least, it's it's a toss up because I hate shoot 'em up bullet hells, mm -hmm. but I really like serious Sam, and there's just enough Sam crammed in there to trick my brain into actually kind of enjoying this. 
because uh, it, it's not just the sam for me because uh it's one of those very few games i played on the original playstation and i didn't have one so it was mostly at friends places uh it was called loaded it reminded me of that game so much uh now to be fair back in the day loaded didn't exactly have the hipster pixel uh graphics by choice it was kind of what the technology would allow for the game that they were trying to make and this game brings me back to that same very same mindset and i maybe that's the reason i ended up giving it the most chairs but i still didn't give it the perfect score because there you can't save the game that's oh, the real yeah, no, that, that, that's that's one of the big problems is that the same system the same system here is garbage it's just yeah. so bad. I, I i would like to be able to save it in the middle of the game well i mean you, you can save at any point in the game but when you load it, it will just start you up at the beginning of the level, which is super annoying. It is mm -hmm. kind of annoying, and I I got I got a bad bad case of the sads when my game got wiped because it just said, "Hey, restart," and I was like, "Yeah, let's just restart this level instead of oh nope, didn't restart the level, started back at the very beginning of the game." Oh so, oh yeah, that that tutorial is not fun either. Right? Yeah, every every time every time you nope. You got to go through that again. It's like, guys, I know how to play the game. And it's overhead Sam. I mean, it, it's bullet hell. It, it makes it very clear that's what Serious Sam is, no matter in how many dimensions you throw at it. Uh, BFE, Serious Sam 1, Serious Sam 2, Serious Sam 3. Um, yeah, it's just bullet hell. And your yeah. strategy is, is to find a choke point, run backwards, then nope them once you get them set up. Uh, it just didn't click with me, guys. I, I don't know why. I tried to. I really wanted it to. Maybe in multiplayer it would have been better. Jordan, you got to play it in some multiplayer, right? Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't get any multiplayer in. Uh, I, 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 well, I wanted. I wanted to test it uh, in the after show, which we might do. Maybe. We might. We'll... But uh, but anyways, like yeah, I, I I agree with you. In any, you can make the argument that in any dimension, Serious Sam is bullet hell. But I mean, my my distaste for bullet hell maybe Serious Sam is the exception. But here, when it's explicitly so. It's a lot harder for me to like derive enjoyment from there. Like I like I said, there's enough Sam in here to trick my brain into having a good time. But I at the end of the day, I just feel rather like lukewarm about it. Mm. I honestly I like it, but that's because even though I know I'm not very good at roguelikes and roguelites, uh I'm not. But I like them. For some reason I really like the, the, them. And the, this this isn't a roguelike. It's not procedurally generated. Yes, it's not procedurally generated, but it has the permadeath thing where it literally nukes your progress and makes you start from well we uh, should also point getting... out it comes with a bunch of mutators including like health regen infinite yes, lives it and it, it comes with a full level editor that i did not play around with but it, mm. it's, yeah, it's yeah. nice to see games that do that it's like oh hey and here's some tools make some cool that, content yeah like those teeny tiny elements were actually something i very much enjoyed and Okay, sure, the, the hips or pixels are still very much there. I guess that's something we have to live with in 2017. But, okay, it's hips or pixel, but the sounds are... It, it sounds like a Serious Sam game. It plays very much like you would expect a top-down uh, Serious Sam game, which for me also means plays a lot like Loaded uh, did back in the day. And I wish I'd had more time to play it during the week, but I didn't. Still, it doesn't get four chairs because of the uh, the save games. It doesn't save yeah. the game at all. So Okay, so at the end of the day, you threw through it. Uh, I, 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 gave, I gave it two. You gave it two. And I gave it three. Hey, man, uh, I gave it one. Maybe multiplayer will change my mind. Maybe I'll have to come back and do an update to the review. Uh, um, <laughs> but yeah, single player mode, especially with this thing clocking in at fourteen ninety nine. I I, I, I will say though, you get a lot of game with this though, because the levels are yeah. huge. Yeah, the levels are pretty. I big. think you just get a lot of pixelated frustration with this. <laughs> pixelated frustration is the name of my Japanese porn company that I fund. <laughs> um, so uh, you gave it one. So that totals out to about two chairs for the fun section and two for the final score. It's so a Strider. It's, it's a Strider. <laughs> Not sure if you want. I, if you're into top-down shooters. I would give this one a recommendation. If you like Serious Sam, definitely check it out. Um, yeah, like, I, I mean, fortunately, most games in the chair position can get a two. A two means yes. you tried. A I two mean, means you definitely have a game that could, in theory, be enjoyed by a subset of people. 
Well, I mean, I think that's one of the things with a QA thing. You will be able to run it on your system sufficiently enough in order to form your own opinion, as you should. 100% sure about that.